This video may help you to become familiar with the Drug Bank website and some vocabulary we will be hearing throughout the course. Let's use Drug Bank to learn about Candace Sarton. From the description, we see that Candace Sarton is an angiotensin receptor blocker, ARB, that may be used alone or with other agents to treat hypertension. Here, we also see the structure of Candace Sarton, which is available in a variety of formats. At the top, we have several useful buttons that provide detailed information about Candace Sarton. There is also a button leading to other drugs with similar structures to Candace Sarton, and buttons specifically for Candace Sarton's interactions with its target, several enzymes, and transporters. For now, let's click on targets to learn more about how Candace Sarton interacts with its target, type 1 angiotensin 2 receptor, also known as AGTR1. Here we see that AGTR1 is a protein in humans. We also see that candesartan acts as an antagonist to AGTR1. If we want to learn more about how a drug functions, we can go to the pharmacology tab. Here we see a detailed explanation of candesartan's pharmacodynamics, or how a drug changes in the body. Next, we have an explanation of candesartan's mechanism of action. It can seem a little daunting to read at first and has a lot of jargon, but if you take your time and read it one step at a time, it's really not so bad. Let's take a look at the first sentence for example. Candesartan selectively blocks the binding of angiotensin 2 to AT1 in many tissues including vascular smooth muscle and the adrenal glands. Now if we remember AT1 is also AGTR1. It's another name for the same thing. So if we take a look at this figure, we can see that angiotensin 2 binds as a ligand to AGTR1. Candesartan and ARB can also bind to AGTR1, but when it does, it blocks angiotensin 2 from binding. If we continue to read the mechanism of action, we see that candesartan binding to AGTR1 inhibits the vasoconstrictive and aldosterone secreting effects of angiotensin 2 and results in an overall decrease in blood pressure. The inhibition of aldosterone secretion may increase sodium and water excretion while decreasing potassium excretion. Speaking of excretion, if you're curious about how candesartan leaves the body, we can read about the route of elimination which states that when candesartan is administered orally, about 26% of the dose is excreted unchanged in urine. We also know the half-life of candesartan is about 9 hours, which would be useful for calculating how often candesartan should be administered throughout the day to maintain effectiveness. We also have information about its toxicity and the organisms for which candesartan can be used. That was just a scratch on the surface of what Drug Bank has to offer. So feel free to click a lot of buttons to learn more about a drug that may be of interest to you.